So the database, again, I kind of mentioned this. Did everybody get a copy of the instructions? OK. So we kind of have two different pieces on there. We have your mid year 2011 and the steps to do for that. And then the proposed FY 2012 and the steps to do for that. So <coughs> previously funded agencies will need to do their mid year measurements. Um, new, newly funded agencies will do, just do that proposed section. But we really have tried to give you a step-by-step kind of this is this is how you can click through that database. Now, if you're more of a visual person, we also put together a screenshot um, instruction manual that is an updated version over the previous uh, available sample. So <coughs> check that out. I don't think we sent that one around, but that is on our website now. Uh, so hopefully that will just help, and it kind of gives you little bubbles that say step one, and step two. So we've tried to make this as easy as possible for you. But if you're needing, maybe you have new staff, maybe you just don't feel comfortable yet using that database. Well, we have a training coming up November 9th. Um, it's scheduled at 10 a.m. at the United Way office. Now, this is getting pretty full. So uh, I guess at this point, if you haven't signed up yet, try and limit that just to one person per agency because we're really we're going to be a little tight in there, but we'll try and move the tables out so we can have just seating, that kind of thing. But for those who might not attend the database training, I did want to just touch on a few key updates. Uh, and some of it is we know more. <coughs> we know more because we've been able to now tell you the outcomes that we would like to achieve. And what that means in the database is that in terms of your outcome description, you'll choose from a drop-down box which outcome that your uh, strategy aligns with. And once you click on that, you'll see the description box that you know about. But what we want you to do is put the outcome that you selected in the drop-down box within that description box. Now, if it was a perfect world, we would get rid of the description box because you already told us in the drop-down box. But we can't do that. It doesn't always work the way we want it to, so instead of creating your own unique outcome, just write in again the, the outcome that you've selected. And the same thing for the indicator section. So now you have the option to click which of the indicators um, that you'll measure. And you'll have to do a separate indicator one for each of the ones that you choose. You can't do them all at once. You'll have to fill out a separate worksheet for that. But Click on the indicator and then copy and paste or type in the exact uh, wording of that indicator description. Because what this does is it all ties together so that when you print out your logic model, all that verbiage will be there. So, And one exciting change that we were able to offer this year is a submission report. <coughs> and I know I see some smiles because in the past, there's so many different little things that you click on and you submit here and submit there and, and not everybody can remember to do it all. Um, so basically when you click on that tab, that's all you have to do. You click on the tab, it pops up everything that hasn't been submitted. Now, when I say this, don't get alarmed because there are pieces of information that may not have been submitted in the past and you're going to see that there too. But you can't do anything about it. When you click on it, you're not going to be able to be able to you know, time period limited. So don't worry about previously non-submitted items. If you're covered, we've got you. So, but uh, do check that report out because it is pretty cool. And you know, if you see something that you do need to go back in, you can do it all on one page. So you can click on it, it'll pop up that screen, you can click the submit, go back to your submission report. So hopefully just maybe you just don't submit anything until the very end. And you can review that report and go through it one by one. So that's a nice job we're able to offer this. So any questions about the database? <coughs>